Hello, fellow bookwesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookwester. Today I'll introduce you to this almighty mythical book The Unicorn Rescue Society, Book One, The Creator of the Fun. This is actually the second, I already did a review of this, and if you want the story of this book, you can go to that one. This one is just a version 2, and it's a very short one, just to tell you why you should read the book, and why it's so cool to read the book finally. Okay, let me tell you. So, this book's author is Adam Goodwitz, right? He came to our school. Wow, did you get an autograph? No, because I didn't have this book, because it wasn't even published to them. And you know what's cool? He, um, a, a guy asked Adam Goodwitz, Mr. Goodwitz, eh, what book was he working on right now? And you know what he said? He said the Unicorn Rescue Society. And it's about these kids, two kids, who are Elliot and Uchenna, who are actually rescuing mythical creators. And it's really cool because we knew of the book before even it was published. Actually, the whole elementary grades of the school. And that's, you have to say, that's pretty cool. That's neat. And wow. I just hope that I had this autograph like here or whatever. Anyway, and uh, I think you should read it because it's really cool and neat. And I guess it's kind of a cliffhanger at the end. They kind of just rescued them. Jersey Devil, oh, and he's like, bleh. But, well, it's not a problem. It's a really, really interesting book to read. I mean, whoever heard of the Jersey Devil? I mean, some people have, obviously, but before this book, I never even searched or knew the word Jersey. Of course I knew the word Jersey, but not Jersey Devil in that particular combination. And that's... And I think that's really interesting, and and I, I think Adam Goodwitz is onto something really good. And well, and also the other mythical creator that is mentioned at the introduction, like for example, um, unicorns are real. At least I think they are. Dragons are definitely real. I have seen them. Chupacabras exist too. Also Sasquatch and mermaid. Also, oh, they are not what you think. And it also mentions a Quarquacha, a legendary two-headed llama of the Andes. And it's like, what? I mean, you've obviously heard of a dragon. And some of you might have heard of the Sasquatch. But you probably hadn't heard of the other mythical creatures. And it's bound to come out somewhere. I mean, I was kind of disappointed I didn't get to know what happened what these creatures are in this book but it's a series and book two and I bet that you can get more information I actually read the Basque dragon I Basque dragon or or whatever and only bits and pieces and I think it's a really good book too so I think you should especially if you want to learn want to learn to love reading you could start with the series and then and then it's finished the series and then you can take yourself to a bit higher level for that i would recommend um the rick riordan books and then you could you could go to other genres and whatever you like and well it's a great motivator and a great book and like always your bookwester and the bookwester